Hello everybody, in this video, I'm going to give an update on my portfolio. Right now my portfolio is worth $106,348.26. In the past year, I am up $34,344.89. Year to date for the year 2024, I am up $14,161.50. Today was a red day for me. I lost several thousand dollars today. During the day, I was down $2,104.11. After hours, I am down another $432.07. So around $2,500 down today. Let's go over my positions. My options. I'm selling Amazon $185 covered calls. These expire October 18. My total return $45. I have Amazon $140, $130 put credit spreads. These expire October 18. My total return $34. I have Amazon $200, $210 call credit spreads. These expire October 18. My total return $12. I'm selling Delta Airlines $49 covered calls. These expire October 18. My total return $212. I'm selling Disney $95 covered calls. These expire October 18. My total return $277.02. I'm selling SoFi $8 covered calls. These expire October 18. My total return, $896. I'm selling Target $150 covered calls. These expire October 18. My total return, $160. I have Verizon $35, $33 put credit spreads. These expire December 20th. My total return, $1,303. I have Verizon $47, $49 call credit spreads. These expire December 20th. My total return, $1,950. Oh, sorry, I'm down $1,950. So I've, I'm down about $2,000 on this spread and lastly i have disney 70 dollar calls these expire december 19th 2025 my total return two thousand nine hundred eleven dollars for my stocks i have 300 shares of amazon amazon is at 184 dollars and 36 cents my average cost 185 dollars and 26 cents my total return, $270. Sorry, I'm down $270.25. I have 6,400 shares of SoFi. SoFi is at $7.62. My average cost, $6.12. My total return, $9,625.95. I have 400 shares of Disney. Disney is at $93.97. My average cost, $86.35. My total return, $3,049.95. I have 100 shares of Target. Target is at $151.84. My average cost, $154.50. My total return, I am down $266.49. I have 400 shares of Delta Airlines. Delta Airlines is at $49.88. My average cost, $50.73. My total return, $339.96. This is a margin account. My margin total is $103,999.75.
My margin used is $77,077.46. My options collateral is $12,000. This leaves me with $14,922.29 in buying power. My margin status is low risk. My buffer is $40,933.69. This is how much money I can lose before I get margin called. My annual interest rate is 6.05%. The daily interest I'm paying is $12.79. And I'm borrowing $1,000 of margin interest free. So lost $2,500 today, just about. And it's because pretty much all of my positions in terms of my stocks, they all went down today. However, um, I'm really glad that I chose the strike, the strike prices that I did, at least for now, because these ended up going down. And because of that, my covered calls, because I chose a lot of them either at the money or in the money um, in terms of the strike prices when I opened them. So it helped out a little bit in terms of uh, softening the blow, if you will. So, for example, Amazon 185. Right now, Amazon is at 184 and 36. So it's slightly below the strike price, um, which is fine. I mean, if it stays this way at expiration, then I'll just keep my shares of Amazon and make money from the uh, covered calls. Now, Delta Airlines, it's slightly above it. It's close. I chose the strike price of 49 and Delta Airlines is at $49. And 88 cents so it's close it, who knows this might end up below 49 at, at expiration but we'll wait and see but if that happens I'm fine with owning Delta Airlines um, let's see here Disney so I have you know so I bought some $70 calls expiring at the end of 2025 and I also have shares of Disney and I'm selling the $95 call um, expiring on October 18th. And right now, Disney is below 95. It's at $93.92. So if it stays this way at expiration, then I'll just keep my shares of Disney. And then I'll probably sell more covered calls against Disney. SoFi, I chose a strike price of $8. And... SoFi is below $8, it's at $7.62. And honestly, this one, I actually hope that it stays below eight because I do want to keep uh, shares of SoFi and then I want to keep on doing more covered calls against it. So this one, I actually hope it stays below $8 uh, at expiration. Lastly, Target. I picked a strike price of 150 and target is above 150. It's at 151 and 84 cents. Um, I could go either way on this. If it stays above, if it stays below 150 at expiration. Either way, I'm fine with it. Um, I wouldn't mind owning shares of target, but I wouldn't mind just getting them called away and I just make money from the premium either. So either way would be fine with me. And that's pretty much it for my portfolio update. Not really anything huge to report. I already gave the uh, the big updates in my last portfolio update, right? All these new positions that I got um, in my last portfolio update. But for now, this is pretty much it. We'll just have to wait and see um, what happens on October 18 when a bunch of these expire. But for now, that's it. I'll keep on making more portfolio updates, so if you guys like this type of content, please make sure to like and subscribe, and I will keep on making more of these videos. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.